You came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Well, calm down, miss. Oh, come on. Let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals, monsters. Monsters, if God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you, can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo, why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay. Let's try and get you a train. Bo's just waiting at the station. In the hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well, if he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watched me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. Oh, you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. So much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But, yeah, as far as it goes, get out. Don't look back. Yeah. Make something decent of your lives. We're here. He, he'll be out at the front. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just, just to the first stop? Fine. You came! <laughs> you came! At last, you came! Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> oh, hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. There it is. <sighs> Sir. How can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. <clears throat> can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Hey, cousin. No, hey, no, you leave us alone. Penelope, get back. Oh. 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 O
Excuse me, old. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. I don't want to come back here without giving you a whipping. Get on the train, folks. Go to your wall. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave, so what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bully them and drove most of them off, whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah, well, how delightful. Oh, my lord. Oh, I think it's my second cousin. Oh, all these goddamn cousins. I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewels? I knew you had some damn jewels. They're coming from over the hill. Ah! You must have all the jewels in the state. Do you mind? Take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. Damn it, you did run. Remind me to rob your trains, mister.
we stop? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. But if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That brave white treasure. I couldn't take it. No. Let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! Oh. Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. All these. Yeah! the show if that's possible it's a free show what's this show then mr charles chatternay go and see for yourself but don't blame me i just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all just wait until you see his work it's very progressive well i'm not so very sure how i feel about progression paintings or otherwise hello ma'am you won't have seen the like of it before Promise. Maybe that's a good thing. <clears throat> oh, hold on, mister. Let me compose myself. Hello, mister. I think that it's Greek. Good to see manners ain't dead yet. Or could be Roman. You enjoy the rest of your day. Hello, sir. I've had that's better days, modern, that's for sure. Modern for my tastes. Mr. Chardonnay, he's just a terror. It's making me blush. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> Well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. In her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, son of a bitch. Oh, you God. filthy little man. Oh, oh. Come on, horse. We're leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. <laughs> Come on, I know a place. 
back, it was not. Aren't you deaf people? Push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes to. I told you I was a fool <laughs> You did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'll get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. <laughs> seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. It's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. Well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... We came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. 
He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm gonna do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then it... And I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh. I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. Could have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd work. But now, I, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I have to do this. Uh, I understand. Yeah, this is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I... There. Look. A rabbit. Okay, stay quiet and still watch me. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. That's it. Go on. I've seen enough blood for one day. Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Oh, Lord. No, we're done for. Cal? Whoa, stay back! Just to smell the dead rabbit. Do something, please! God, no! Oh, thank God! You see, if, if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my, my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. 
Now, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. <laughs> Just wait a second, girl. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there's nothing simple about any of this. Well, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds off. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, man. That's fire. Mind if I warm my bones? <laughs> Y'all knew this was Murphy Hills. You should be careful where you're camping. I can look after myself. Besides, free country. Free country. <laughs> no. Everything bought and paid for. And we don't protect. Y'all be careful where you wander. Come on, let's go. I think you got the message. Don't kill you next time. Mm -hmm. Come here, Arthur. What do you want? 
Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I... I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill? There's a death sentence. There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. Does that count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. So, <laughs> who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. Yeah, you're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like... Leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew. Just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our head, bitch. With the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse. At this point, it would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers for a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. Let's cut across here, it'll be quicker. I got no doubts about John. I've known him for 15 years. Well, if we really are... are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, we're gonna need Loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger around camp. Huh. Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. No, well, that's different. Okay, here we are. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. them in the road over here so we can blow it as it comes over the bridge got some good cover over here you hide behind this tree to my left morgan 
Williamson, you take the other side. Try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook them. Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. How much we get, cowpoke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Uh, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon. 